where little gatherings are forbidden. 14 Tactics to Keep House Gatherings Safe Vocabulary Authorities, government or religious leaders and police Chapel, a building or a room for Christian worship Christian, those who seek to obey Jesus Christ Church, Christian congregation or religion Gathering, Christians meeting together Hostile, seeking to stop or to forbid Christian activities Locale, any building or place where Christians gather Participants, those who attend a Christian gathering Many governments and religious authorities are currently trying to suppress Christianity, and have made it illegal for Christians to gather outside of designated chapels. Therefore, obedience to Jesus Christ requires that his followers employ tactics that keep participants safe from persecution when gathering secretly. 1. Move gatherings local often and do not inform participants in advance. If you gather often at the same locale, then this can draw attention of hostile authorities. Let participants inform each other of their new locale. 2. Dissolve gatherings after a few weeks, and then regroup participants in new gatherings at different locales. It is better to start new little gatherings, than to risk hostile authorities arresting everyone in a big gathering. 3. Non-clergymen stay away from little gatherings, and they train new leaders. Hostile authorities know who are your bishops, priests and pastors, so these individuals should not participate in little gatherings. 4. Exclude individuals whom you suspect of informing authorities about little gatherings. The Lord will show you who are spies that inform hostile authorities, then exclude these, treating them as outsiders. 5. Choose safe locales outside of participants' homes. Let participants gather in forests, caves, parks, restaurants, vehicles, so that hostile authorities do not arrest families or destroy homes. 6. Gather seasonally or periodically, when and where hostile authorities are not surveilling. It may prove safe to have participants gather during holidays when many local folk entertain family, friends and guests. 7. Do not carry phones or electronic devices to gatherings. You must presume that hostile authorities listen to your phone conversations and read your electronic and email messages. 8. Receive new participants only after you have baptized them. Hostile authorities will send spies into your churches and gatherings pretending to be Christians or new converts. 9. Forbid participants to express non-patriotic speech and insults towards religion, in gatherings. Never say or discuss anything in your gatherings for which hostile authorities could arrest, fine or imprison Christians. 10. Avoid calling your gatherings church or Christian. Instruct participants to talk about themselves and their gathering with words that will not alarm hostile authorities. 11. Keep foreigners away from secret gatherings. Hostile authorities may follow foreigners into your gatherings. Some foreigners may talk about you in ways that could cause you trouble. 12. During times of intense persecution, stop regular gatherings until the Spirit of Jesus reveals to you what to do next.
If hostile authorities have been arresting participants at gatherings, then you may have to change your methods and plans. 13. Train and authorize Christians to launch new gatherings without informing you about their locale. Hostile authorities cannot force you to reveal to them the locale of gatherings that you do not know. 14. Pray continually in every gathering to remain invisible to hostile authorities. Thousands of little gatherings like yours have been multiplying for years, unknowns to hostile authorities, because God keeps them safe.